So I'm inviting you. So now I'm inviting you to put in your chanting dedication. So this is your opportunity to hold anybody you feel needs a little bit more support and care and metta in your heart and also in the community. So it's powerful when people come together to chant. It's more powerful than just chanting for a person individually. And of course, we're connecting with the Buddha's own words of loving kindness by chanting the Karaniya Metta Sutta in Pali. So please do write in any dedications. I'll give you a few minutes for that. Um, you might want to say what's happening for someone if that feels good for you, or just their names. Sometimes it can be yourself if you're feeling in need of a little bit more support. So be generous to yourself as well. so the dedications are coming in and for anyone that's listening to this afterwards because we're uploading this as a recorded session um, if you want to listen to this and bring people to mind yourself please do you know you can even say their name out loud now would be the time to do that if you are listening to the recording Maybe express your wishes for them. And when you have written in their name, you can perhaps close your eyes and bring them to mind. It's nice to pause a little bit and just connect with ourselves, ground ourselves in this present moment. Feel your body sitting, allow it to become comfortable. So it seems like we have quite a few dedications now, so I'll start to read through them. You can still write them in if you become late or if anyone comes to mind. So tonight we're chanting for Kamba and Asha and for Joan, a Holocaust survivor who bravely shared her family's harrowing experience with Kelly and her other colleagues today. And for other survivors, their families and all people affected by genocide and other atrocities past and present. Chanting for Annalise, who is sick. Dedicating to Iggy and his brother, who are both dealing with new cancer diagnoses. And to Diana's sister, Katie, who is being a wonderful and supportive carer. Meta for James, who's getting over a cold and feeling tired and uninspired. <clears throat> Blessings for Crystal's friend who lost her sister and for her sister who passed away. <coughs> Blessings to Eric's daughters, Nellie and Rebecca. Dedicating to Cass's friend, Diana, who has cancer and is continuing to receive treatment. To Claire in Italy and Sharon in Devon. For Roel, who is going through a rough period. For Anna's friend, Anna, she struggles with cancer right now. Blessings to Matthias's parents, brother and sister. For Lynn, who has cancer, to Melanie's daughter's friend, Valentine, or Valentine, who's having a hard time at the moment. Chanting vibes of healing for all of us here and John's dear family as they face their individual health problems. Method to Leonie's parents, Susan and Richard, who are going through some changes in their lives that are both stressful and exciting. 
And for Joseph, it is his son's death anniversary today. He died in 2017. So on this day in 2017. And I have some dedications too to Ko Min, who is a sister of two of my main supporters in Myanmar. The whole family had uh, the Delta variant and she died of COVID. For Adam and the Walton family, Adam has had a cancer relapse. To Pua Allen in Thailand for his well-being and support. To Lee with Emmy and intrusive thoughts. To all who are suffering due to climate change and working peacefully for climate justice. For Tamali for her happiness and well-being. To Jack for the shelter and warmth that he needs. And to Leah with a bad tummy, but she's here actually. So hopefully your bad tummy is turning good and it will continue to improve. And I had thought of someone else. Well, let's dedicate to Ayo Nandabodi, who's in England, and to all the wonderful people in this community and all beings everywhere. Nobody is excluded. So including everybody listening to this at a later time, whenever and wherever that may be, you are in our thoughts. So let's just close our eyes for a couple of minutes and connect with the beautiful intentions to spread loving kindness. Empowered by the Buddha's own words, own teaching on loving kindness in the Karaniya Metta Sutta. And inviting the devas all the noble beings, the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas, all those walking on this noble path to support us in our beautiful intentions, to generate and spread and share and bless all beings, including those specific beings that you're bringing to mind right now. the hope that our loving kindness can help heal and soothe any sickness, physical, emotional, or mental. Bring inspiration and uplift and joy to their hearts and to our heart as a byproduct. Anna is with me also today. I'm in her beautiful home and she hopefully will chant along too. So you may hear two voices today. <laughs> so when you're ready, we can start. You're welcome to join in or just listen as you wish. <clears throat> Karaniya mata kusaleina Yantam santam padam abhisamecha Sako jucha sujucha Suacho cha samru duanati mani Santa sako cha subaro cha Apaki cho cha salahu kauti Santindriyo cha nipako cha apakabo kule suananugito nachakudam samachore kinchi. Ye na win you pare you power day 
connecting again with your body, your mind, with your inner world. Perhaps imagining those people you've dedicated blessings toward, or if there's no one in particular, the whole world, or any beings that come to mind, just holding them in your mind. Imagining them smiling, relaxed, happy, well, whatever your wishes are for them. And opening up to receive blessings of loving kindness. Now chant the Burmese blessing. Sabe Sata Sabe Pana Sabe Buddha Sabe Buddha Sabe Atta Bawa Padia Pana Sabe Itio Sabe Purisa Sabe Aria Sabe Anavia Sabe Dewa Sabe Manusa Sabe Winiparika Awe la hontu Abya pacha hontu Ani ga hontu Suki atanam bavi halam tu Duka monjantu Yada lada sampatito Mawe gachantu Kamasaka Sa 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 <laughs> Double meta <laughs> from Anna as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> I hope the ha ha has were happening everywhere. <laughs> if not, that's also fine. You don't have to be in the mood for that. <laughs> so, thank you, community. And uh, we still have five minutes for those who do not need to disappear. Oh my goodness, there's a beautiful dog as well. It's a shame we can't video of your beautiful dog, Diana. Oh my goodness, I'm going to visit Diana and I hope I'm going to meet the dog. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, he's hugging you or she. Oh, so the sound got cut off, did it? Several times, oh dear. Yeah, this happens, especially when we're recording, but hopefully it doesn't really matter because it's the energy that matters. And also I get the rise wrong when we're recording always, yeah. It's just like that. Nothing in life is perfect, <laughs> but we do our best. Hmm. I think my headphones aren't actually being recorded. I don't know why. Anyway. So we have five minutes and it's always good to make use of our time together. So if anybody would like to say or ask or share anything at all, now is the time, you're very welcome. 
oh, your sound was fine. So yeah, it could be different people's speakers. I don't know, different people's connections perhaps. Was the sound okay for everyone else? Nods happening, that's good, great. <laughs> So if you would like to ask or say anything, you won't be recorded with your video, you'll just be recorded with your voice. Or you can ask anything or say anything in the chat box. It's nice to hear how you're doing now, maybe. Or... or stick up your virtual hand or your real hand, either way. Translation of the Burmese blessing. Have we not done that already? Gosh, we're a bit slow, aren't we? Because we do have it up on the website now, <laughs> but it's not translated. So perhaps there's a bit that I'm not sure about at the end. But uh, if I think about it now, it's like Sabe Sata, may all beings, Sabe Pana, may all living beings or breathing beings, Sabe Bhuta or beings, Sabe Pugala or people or Beings again, really. Sabe atta bawa pariyapana. I think it means all beings that are yet to be born, yet to be, yet to arise. Sabe atta bawa pariyapana. Sabe itio or women or men. Sabe purisa. Sabe aria or noble beings or not yet noble beings. Sabe aria, sabe aria, sabe deva, the um, heavenly beings, if you like, the devas, the gods, if you wish. Um, deva, sabbe manusa, people, like ordinary human beings. Sabbe vinipadika, I'm not 100% sure. Vinipadika. Uh, sabbe vinipadika. Sabbe. Then what is it? Aweva hantu, may they all be free from enmity. It's all kinds of suffering, but I'd have to look it up to be precise. I won't try to bumble my way through. Um, so I'll look it up to be precise, but it's really about relieving the suffering of all those beings. May they be well, may they be happy, may they be free from um, affliction, hostility, uh, enmity. And uh, towards the end, we say uh, all beings are the owners of their karma as well. Kama, Saka, or all beings are the owners of their Kama. Yeah. So I'll try to do that for you. <laughs> the chanting was beautiful and soothing. That's great. Someone's feeling uplifted now. Cass is feeling relaxed. Nice to do at work. Lovely and uplifting. Meditated through that and now a lot more peaceful. Thank you. Anna's first time to the chanting. It was wonderful. Great. Chanting was so beautiful, feeling peaceful. And John also says beautiful. So this is wonderful. <laughs> All very lovely, um, positive emotions. And by positive emotions, we don't mean that some are, you know, uh, better than others necessarily, but these kind of emotions are more spiritual emotions, I would say, that can be really used to deepen your practice. So with this kind of foundation that actually arises through virtue. And in this case, um, intentions as well as verbal articulations of loving kindness, you know, and also coming together to give your support and your practice and share your practice and support with the group. These are really beautiful, strengthening things to do that will then give you more inspiration, more um, of a foundation of virtue and happiness for your meditation practice. So actually after the chanting or even during the chanting is a great time to meditate if you do feel any of those spiritual emotions. And if you do, don't throw them away so easily. One of the um, aspects of right effort is to cultivate the wholesome and to preserve, to maintain and to develop them. So now we've generated them, see if you can preserve them, see if you can maintain them and see if you can even further develop them when you go back to your family with whomever you next may see, and if you're alone, with yourself, right? Doesn't mean cling on to them, but it just means try to re-invoke them and uh, really value them, notice them as something beautiful and precious that you don't throw away so easily. Great. Okay. And Kalina sent a message. Great, I got your message. 
<laughs> not from the team yet, but I got your message now and uh, we'll be in touch. Yeah, if we'll keep you on a list of volunteers and when anything comes up, we'll find a way to, uh, yeah, to share opportunities with you. Great. So I think we'll stop the recording and then we can wave goodbye. Bye to all those on.